Okay. Let's use this today. Let's go grow some pak choy and lettuce. with transplants. You have something that tiny, you're not going to mess around with it. You know, you're going to let it grow, but doing this system, you can take your microgreens and already pop them in here. You see, with this much nutrients, this thing's going to take about four weeks before it even has it, you know, to be refilled. If I get down about here, it'll take weeks. So this, setting that up, it's actually going to sit out here for about a month without doing anything to it. All I'm going to do is come out and check, make sure there's no little caterpillars munching on my pak choy. Make sure these guys aren't wilting from being in the sun. If they are, I'll get them to a little bit more shade. And that's about it. So, let's go ahead and get the rest of these planted out. It goes all the way up there. So that's what we're working on. So we've got our bucket. What we're doing is, remember before. All right. Remember before how we're cutting this. Popping that in. All right. Now I keep telling you, make sure there's a little hole right there. So you can do it that way. Let's put one of these guys out. Right, so we put them in there. Let's just do it this way. See that? Got the root coming down. You don't have to worry about getting that off because there's no pumps to clog up, so that little bit that gets in there is not going to be a problem. See how he's sitting inside that little hole? close up here so he's sitting inside that little hole so he doesn't get squashed right make sure he's in there and when you tighten it up see there's still a little bit you don't want to take it and squeeze it because you're squeezing them a little too hard that's the old way we used to do it let me show you the new way we're doing it. Okay, right, this is the new way we're gonna do it. Just go over here, see if you can get some. Now you wanna pull some up about that long, right? The longer than your pull noodle. Let's see if we can grab a couple more here. Let's another one. Let's do three. Get three of those together. We'll get a little piece of hemp mat. Wrap it around there. Pop that in. It comes down and see that mat will soak up a little too if it needs to. But your roots are coming down there. So I didn't even have to cut it, so we're gonna try that. See, it's all in there, real loose. Now, if you need to, you can either put another piece of hemp mat in there, and squish it. You know, it's not gonna squeeze it too hard. Put another little piece of mat in there if you need to, or cut a little piece of uh, your foam. You can have a tiny piece in there, but mainly this mat. It's a little softer than this pool noodle. So when you go to squeeze this into the there, it's still really gentle on it right there. So we're gonna give that a try. That's what we're trying over here this time. So pool noodle comes out to about two cents. Remember we're getting them for a dollar at the dollar store. Cut about 50, I think it's 48 of them. So almost two cents a piece. 
this hemp mat there was a pack of 40 was $14 so that comes out to roughly 40 40 something cents a piece and I cut each mat into 12 pieces so 40 times 3 times 40 is 360 a little over 3 cents a piece for a little piece of hemp mat so still you're talking about a nickel so it still comes out way, way cheaper than a cloning collar. We're gonna see how that does. You know, that's what it's all about, experimenting, all right? Let's get the rest of these planted out. That's all there is to it. Nice and simple, nice and easy. So we're going to let that go for a couple of weeks and we'll check it. But you come out, I'll come out. What you do is plan it out. The next day you come out and check it because sometimes when you put it in there and the roots are hanging down, sometimes the roots will get stuck up here or won't be down far enough and they won't be touching the nutrient solution. So your little sprouts will die overnight usually if it's hot so if you can't get any water so come out the next day and check and if it does always see how we've got some more left here see we'll leave those growing right and then that way if something happens to one of those we've got replacements so leave those out there Check those tomorrow, see how they're doing. And then after that, you can leave them for about a month. But that's if you go on the road. If you're home, and you can get out here and check them every day, come out here and check, make sure there's no pest. I've got a little tree rat around here that likes to tear up my plants, so he might run out and jump up there and, and start pulling the plants out. But see right there in the corner, He loves the sunflower sprouts. So the ones that you saw him digging in in the last video, I left those out there. So when he comes to visit, he comes up there and he munches on those. And he's not bothering these plants too much right now. So, But there's no telling because he already jumped into the pak choy once and started tearing it up. Uh, that's why they look a little scraggly and, and all dug up was because the little squirrel got to it. But hopefully he won't mess with it. So if you got time, come out here, check on them. You know, the set it and forget it is if you are gone and you need to leave it alone. But it's gardening. If you love gardening, you're going to get out here every day and check it anyway. So I'm not saying you have to, but that's just in case you, you know, aren't available that you're not going to have to worry. Like that right there. You've got irrigation set up on the bottom. Hopefully the timer doesn't go off when we're out of town for a week. You know, yeah. Depends on how much rain you get. Might be all right, might not. So, you know, this, if I leave for a week, I know it's gonna be there when I get back. It's a cracky works. Alrighty, so that's our wall. Like we said, awesome little system. You took four feet, that's four feet wide. You can see it only comes out about one foot. If you took four square feet of land and said, how much can I plant on there? You probably wouldn't get very many plants in four square feet. But right there you can see we've got two, four, six, eight, nine. There's nine or ten. That one's got eight, two, four, six, eight. So between eight and ten, and in each one of those, and each one of them has two to three plants in it. So you're talking about 58, you know, close to 60 times two or three, you know, between 120 up to 400 plants in that little space. And they're not competing for nutrients because the nutrients are in there. When it starts to use it, you replenish it. That will grow just fine. You can grow them to be little microgreens. You can grow them into baby greens, harvest those. And then you can grow them a little bigger like the pop choy and use it as a cut, cut and come again crop. So we're gonna let that go. But now we've got, see the shade house back there? Got a video coming up. We built the shade house. I've got three more to plant in there we've got a big surprise inside of there for you and some more gutters to plant out got the nft system to put together so lots to do this fall
All right, don't forget, live to inspire. Keep on growing. I love y'all.